Hi everyone, it's Christian here from the eCreators Academy. In this video today, I'm wanting to talk to you about our left hand learn book menu bar. So this menu bar that appears on the left hand side. One of the great features of LearnBook Athena is that we can fully customize that menu bar. So that means you can not only rearrange the order of the things in that list, you can change the name, but you can also add your own features into there as well. So these might be features like external websites, or maybe a feature of a link to a particular course within your site that maybe everybody within the site needs access to. So what I'm going to do here is just jump into this and just show you what options that we have available with customizing that menu bar. So down the left hand side, we're going to go into the administration tab. So I do need to be a site administrator to be able to um, undertake these customizations. And I'm going to scroll down to menu management. I'm going to click on this here. So this is now my menu management editor. So here are all the options that I have down the left hand side available to me. So it's showing the collapse form as well. So I can see where the hierarchy is. So I can see that my users has all these subcategories in it. And administration has all these subcategories in it. Now I have two additional options that I would like to add to this list today with you. So up here I've got two other tabs open, one which is the eCreators Academy YouTube channel and the other one which is our, our support articles. So they're the two um, items that I'm going to grab. So what I'm going to do is I'd like to go to the top of this page and this is where I add my new items. So I have one here, so it says what's the label, so what am I actually going to call it? So I'm going to call it eCreators Academy. And I might even just put in YouTube on that for that one. Now the next one along is the link. So I need to provide the hyperlink. So I'm just going to go to that and we'll grab the hyperlink out of that. We'll go back to here and we'll drop that in there. So there's the hyperlink to the eCreators Academy site there. Next along is the icon. So as you can see each one of these items has an icon beside it. So for here I'm going to want to grab an icon. So for me, this is videos, so I'm going to grab one that's a relevant icon here. And as you'll see, there's 786 icons here, one of 42 pages. So there's heaps and heaps of options for you. Um, I'm just going to pick this one because it's nice and easy. Now, I don't want to tick admin only because I want it to be available for everyone. And that's the same with the role cap um, capability here. I don't want to select a particular role capability either because I want everybody to be able to see this. Once I'm done, I'll click add. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what you'll see is, is that if I scroll down the page to the bottom of the page here, you'll now see that eCreators Academy YouTube has popped up. So it's now an option. If I want to move this around, so maybe I want this up the top of the page, using my crosshair on the left hand side here, I can click, hold and drag and simply move it up the list. So I can move it all the way up the list, move it to there, and I want to go all the way up the top, so I'm going to move it even further again. And I'll even go above dashboard. So I put it up the top there. Maybe I want to go and repeat the process. So I'll jump in here and I'll say articles, for example. I might even call them help desk articles. Again, with the link, we'll go here. We'll grab the link, back to the site, paste the link in. This time we might find one. Let's have a look and we'll say this one's going to be the new page type article. Again, it's not admin only. Now just uh, be, keep in mind, when you tick this, when I talk about admin, this is the site administrator role. So if I tick that box, it means only the site administrator will be able to see it. When I'm talking about role capabilities, it means that any role, so any person holding a role that has one of these levels of capabilities enabled within that role will then be able to utilize this feature. So there's sort of two separate sections here, either admins only, or specific roles that you need to make sure that those people have enabled on their profile. Okay, so I've created the help desk articles. I'll click add. Again, that will drop down to the bottom, which I can then click and hold and drag up. I'll move it all the way up my page here, because I might actually put this underneath the other one at the top there. Now, if you just have a look at your left-hand menu bar, the actual bar itself, nothing has happened at this point because we haven't submitted these changes. So it's still as it used to be. You might also look at this and sort of say to yourself, all right, so not only have I made those changes, but I also don't want that forums link to be here anymore. So I'm going to get rid of it. Therefore, I'm going to go across to the side here and I'm going to press the delete icon. Do you want to delete the menu? Okay, and we delete the forums. So this is where you have full flexibility, not only to move, to edit, so I could change something through the little pencil, 
but I could also delete those menu items as well. So it's full flexibility. And as you can see, anything with a URL can be linked to. So that's the only real requirement of this menu bar is that you have a URL. Once you're done, we scroll right to the very bottom and click Submit. Clicking on Submit will now let you know that the menu items have been saved successfully. And if you have a look over in your menu bar, I now have those new items that we've added. Want to make some more changes? Simply go back into Administration, back into Menu Management and repeat the process. I hope that's helped and I look forward to seeing you in some of our other articles.